You are listening to a curated clip from the Naturally Inspired podcast. Subscribe today at livenaturallyinspired.com. You know, religion is an aspect of consciousness. So is science. It's an aspect of consciousness. And we've been conditioned to believe that religion is out there and you have to go to a church. You have to read a Bible. It's all these external things. Right. And science, it's out there. Where are the scientists, the institutions? Well, we're talking science. No, you're talking what the pursuit of science has done to you and how that turned into a book. Right. That's what you're talking about. You're talking about <laughs> data. Yeah. You're not talking about science. Science is the pursuit of knowledge. It's to know. The literal word, word means to know. Yeah. And religion is religare. It, it means to bind together, to hold together, to fuse two things like yoga, union between you and God or you and universe. So these are aspects of consciousness. Mm-hmm. And we've, again, we've externalized it in many ways. So back to the point, this whole one world government, there's no problem with one world government if we were all living in love. Right. You can give me communism. If I knew 7 billion people were living from their heart, I would say, let's play Monopoly as our government. Let's, let, I don't care what yeah. ism you give me. Right. If we're all in love, we're going to be a lot better off than the most intelligent ism with no love. Right. I say, give me communism with love than give me capitalism with no love. Because it's right. not about the ism. It's not about the game. It's about right. love. And we are constantly... No, there are no atrocities in love, right? So uh, communism historically has produced, you know, atrocities, but not if it's, if communism had love and it was based on love, then all of the the actions that created atrocities wouldn't be functionable. Yeah. Yeah. We always look for the label and the name. Yeah. It's communism. You know how many people died in the name of God? People would have probably killed people without the name of God. Right. They're killing people in the name of government. They're, ki- they're like, we're not living in love mm-hmm. and we're sick and we don't mm-hmm. realize it. And this is why I say we need healing. Yeah. We as a species need healing. Right. And really, I don't see another form of government or another economic model or more on the blockchain and more accountability. It's just all these new nuances that we're like, well, I guess that sounds better because it's correcting this past mistake. Yeah, but a correction of a mistake doesn't mean, cor- you know... It's going to be better, th- improved. It doesn't mean you're bringing it back to a holistic state. Right. It just means like, if you're center and you're meandering out into infinity, oh no, you're going this direction, correct. Yeah, that's a correction, but you're still meandering <laughs> towards infinity. You're not coming back to center. Right. So this is where I say like, healing needs to be self-discovery. And we need to do that with one another. And we've forgotten how to do that. And there's so much xenophobia, like, well, do you think it's China? Do you think it's Russia? You mean the humans, our brothers and sisters that speak different languages (laughs) in that land across the water? That look almost exactly like us. (laughs) Yeah, that slightly different skin color, slightly different eyes, different language, probably so much beautiful heritage and history I would love to learn about. Yeah. Right? You mean those people? (laughs) Yes, they're my brothers and sisters. I can't wait to learn how to love them better and yeah. show them that I mean them no harm, and I, I wish them only awakening and, and, and true love. Mm-hmm. And this is so wishy-washy. It's so right. new-agey to talk right, about right. love and healing. And that's right. another part of the trap. Yeah. Make the solution sound nuts. Or, yeah. Sound like, oh, you're such a juvenile. You don't know how that's you know utopia. socioeconomics really works. Like, right. I don't need to know how your stupid game works. It's done right. nothing but harm and violation on this planet. Right. And Mother Earth is paying the, uh, the price. And now we're saying, well, who do we ask to help correct this climate? Whatever's going on with the climate, I'm not going to name it. Yeah. You know, even I think a lot of it's geoengineering. But like mm-hmm. whatever's going on with the climate, who do we ask to save us? Well, it seems like we're just asking the people who created the problems in the first place. Yeah, it's like exactly. who caused. If you listen to the narrative, who caused the problem? Ah, uh, the people did. No, I think the corporations <laughs> yes. and the major industries did. We're that. not pumping out all the toxins. I don't know everywhere. a single person that I'm uh, associated with that goes down and burns down the Amazon or clear no. cuts fields and. I don't even know anyone you know, that litters I, I anymore. I don't know anyone. <laughs> 
Look for Naturally Inspired Podcast on all podcast platforms, video platforms, or go to naturallyinspiredpodcast.com.